made a car for the day. I think we're going to make our way around the island and visit some of the beaches and make our way to Mahon, which is the main town and city. Do some sightseeing. Going on holiday with us all very sad. And we're playing Pokemon while we're on this beautiful island. After driving for about 20 minutes, we have now arrived at the northernmost part of the island to the lighthouse. Hopefully, I'm going to take my drone up and I hope that the lighthouse doesn't interfere with it, but we'll see, see what happens. We've reached the viewpoint of El Toro, one of the highest points on Menorca. Behind me you can see all the beautiful bays which we'll be visiting later on today. Spot of lunch, maybe in a seafood restaurant before we head on to Ahon itself.
very valuable lesson flying a drone in Spain. Just been arrested. Cannot fly a drone anywhere in Spain without getting permission. There you are. So I better pack the drone away for the rest of the holidays. Well, after my run in with the police earlier on today, we finally made it to Mahon. It's the capital city of Menorca. It's got a big port area for all the ships to come in. It's quite a nice city. I think you need more than an hour to see it. But it's well worth seeing. An interesting thing when I got caught by the police today. I was actually flying the drone over the sea. I was out at sea and the police were on a boat. They were searching other small boats. It was probably for suspicious people coming in. And they came ashore and arrested me on shore. They explained to me that I couldn't fly the drone anywhere in Spain. Well, my understanding of flying drones in Spain is that you can't fly anywhere within a city. But flying out with a city was permissible. I'm going to have to look up that law. That interesting way to get arrested nonetheless by police on a boat while flying a drone over the sea.